Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. This is a real test for these new mics. I have done an indoors test and they seemed okay. I'm going back up the other side of the motorway today on my dog walk because on my way to pick the dogs up I noticed there were no sheep on the field and it's a beautiful day. I've just had to take my jumper off. There's the sweltering. It's actually Blue and Maggie's birthday today. They're a year old. Maggie, is it your birthday? I don't care. This is where we get cuts. I'd be covered in so many scratches if I went through the brambles. Unfortunately, the wind is blowing in this direction, so the motorway is particularly noisy. The sheep are all over in those fields. That track along there is where I would sometimes walk on a wet day, so I've been doing the last couple of weeks. And the track up into the hills is where I would have been doing if I'd gone up that way, but the sheep in all of these fields. So I'm over in this field instead. Right, let's go and sit down, have a cup of tea, and these guys can have a run. I have checked, there are no sheep at all in this field. They can have their birthday bonio. And I can sit here and look at the view, and drink my tea and have my snacks that Mac and Lisa have packed for me this morning. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's very blurry. I've got a mini Twix, Kit Kat, nuts, and Sugar Free Werther's Originals. Mmm. I wonder why these have been collected here. My guess is maybe it was where, this is the area where maybe a dog liked to walk. I mean, you know, lots of dogs do like to walk up here. Maybe the ashes have been sprinkled there or something. I don't know. I feel like it's in memory of somebody or something, maybe. Anyway, I'm going to stop sitting and get walking again. It's getting a little bit chilly because that's what happens when you stop walking. It is gorgeous, but the clouds are coming over and um, you cool off very, very quickly, don't you? Especially if you've got a bit of a sweat on from coming up that big hill. So we can get moving again. I think I'm going to take a route which I have talked about before, but not actually done. Because it'll come out in the village that I need to go back to. Let's walk all the way down here and then at the bottom go that way as opposed to that way. Walk down that road there with the dogs on the lead, cross over past the hotel that's over there. You can't really see what's behind this tree and then walk up along that way and into the village through the bottom end. I'm thinking I might do that with them. Change of scenery, mix things up a bit. I love it when you just see those patches of light coming down between the clouds and they kind of you see them moving across fields and they highlight certain parts off in the distance and you can see different patches off in the distance of like lit up fields or towns or buildings so that's the hotel and then the road goes along the back past those houses under the motorway bridge that way i have noticed there's some people down there burning wood. I don't know if they're part of the Forestry Commission, maybe. There is the Forestry Commission base down there. Okay, I am a little bit lost, and there are sheep up here, so I put the dogs on leads. Um, I don't actually know where the footpath goes. I don't think, I think I'm on the wrong path is the issue. I think that is a farm, I believe. I don't think I can get down onto the path 
from here. I'm going to have to go back. Hmm. I don't know if... Is this a public right-of-way? There are sheep here. No, I don't think so. Well, that was very nice of those people. There were sheep in there. They were all having their vaccinations. So they got all the sheep off the field, which is probably why the sheep weren't on that field. And, um, yeah, they'd, they'd got them all lined up in their hurdles ready for their vaccinations and worming and what have you. Um, now, if it had been my two, my two wouldn't have cared less about them. But I obviously don't know what these guys are like with sheep. And they wanted to play, is what they wanted to do, bouncing around on the end of their lead. But the people were so sweet. And they said, just come through. It's not a problem at all. Just, um, just come straight through. I've always liked this house here. But I imagine this road can get quite busy. It is a main route. That was quite quiet at the moment, which is nice. We are a few minutes early coming back that way. So, I'm going to let the dogs have a run on the green. And I'm going to finish off my cup of tea and have my two Werther's Originals. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. It's five past twelve and I am now home from the dog walks. I've picked up some fuel, filled up, well not filled up, put fifty pounds worth of fuel in my van. I picked up toothpaste which I needed and then I picked up um a biryani for me and a noodles for Kenzie. Uh, they do like these fresh meals that you just put in the microwave. Um there's a local place supplies them like freshly made and then they're in the shop and they've got like a two day use by date or something it's like the fresh sandwiches they make except these are like biryanis um so they're really good i'm going to go for a walk now with rocky and r2 but i'm not really going to chat to you because my friend lorraine is going to come for a walk with me she messaged me this morning to say by any chance was i walking up the track today and i said yes i will be so um during her lunch break she's going to come and have a walk with me up the track with the dogs i do think it might rain Kenzie's off with a headache. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier on. He's not gone into school because he's not feeling very well, which means I don't have to go and pick him up, which means that as soon as I finish my dog walks, I can have my lunch, which is that biryani. I can have a bath, a cup of tea. And when I've done all of that, I can just sit down with my puzzle for the rest of the afternoon and take it easy. I'm home. I've had my lunch, which was a biryani, chicken biryani and rice. I... I'm refreshing myself while Kenzie makes me a cup of tea. I'm also, I found that in the fridge. I'm going to have a protein bar. And Kenzie's run me a bar. So I'm going to lounge in this for the next, ooh, 45 minutes. This is a rarity for me. You won't see this happen very often. Not at the moment with my work schedule. But I'm relaxing in the garden on my beanbag. I've let the geese out. And they're wandering around the garden. He's eating mud from the plant pot and dragging it in the house after I've hoovered. There you go. I remember when you were small enough that you could actually get on my lap when I was sitting out here. Hmm. I'm not taking the whole thing. Marjorie! Here. The dogs are getting all of those ones. Marjorie! <coughs> Sitting in this spot and all I can smell is dog wee. Because I reckon this is where Timmy does a lot of his wees. Put some disinfectant down. What's going on here with your belly? Where's all your feathers gone? And you've got your thunder feathers. What's going on? pulling them out to make nests or something that's plastic you can't have that you're missing out <laughs> oh you mucky oik yeah made a big old mess with that Audrey. Feel like the robin's going to come and benefit from that mess here you go 
problem is you can't see things until they're on you. <laughs> Did she scare you? <laughs> Link, don't you eat up all the seed, please. It'll give you diarrhea. Would you like a bite? <laughs> Give me a water bite. Ah, Link, give me his turn. Okay. Link, you're going to lose a foot. Yeah. Dorothy, not you. Just cleaned out the bedding for the geese. What is this? Parthenogenics. Parthenogenesis, which means they can like produce eggs, which like develop into fertilised ones without the need of a, oh. a male one. Right, let's go see that then. Apparently, everything's laying bloody eggs in our house at the moment. We've had two from the goose, and Nagini seems to be. Oh, there's four, five. Uh, Nagini, oh good lord, what is she doing? Six. And Nagini's gone on mass egg production. It is Easter after all. She's never done that. I'll just leave her eggs like that for a moment then because she might attack me if I try to remove them. I'm pretty sure they sometimes eat them. Oh no, Do seven they? eggs. What we got? One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven. six, seven. Yeah. Well, it's Easter. They're little Easter eggs. I've come in now for my dinner and I'm having a Korean beef with... Um, various rice and seeds and what have you. I think it's got chai seeds and beans and that kind of thing and some tomatoes and sweet corn. Um, and there's like the pulled pork beef stuff going with some peppers in there as well. It's half past six and I am working on my puzzle, having just eaten that food, making sure that these two do not run off and eat a piece because they have in the past. I'm also watching Imo's latest vlog and drinking tea it's nine o'clock i've done quite a bit more of my puzzle with sort of the help of my friends they have been at times actually asleep on the edge of the puzzle so i'm going to cover that up now i'm going to go and watch some tv with lee i think we've got tracker to watch oh excuse me that must be my cue to say goodbye for this evening. Thank you very much for watching, you lovely lot. And uh, stick around for a couple of videos around here somewhere that you might wish to watch next.